Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here from All the Sparkle with my monthly Dress It Up with Jess feature for Waffle Flower Crafts. Today I'm showing a simple way to create an interactive card with the adorable new Harpy Birthday stamp set. So let's get started. First I stamp the heart playing pup with Versafine onto a piece of white cardstock and heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. Off camera, I stamp a second dog with regular intense black ink. Next, I color the image with Copic markers. In case you didn't know, I actually am a professional harpist. That's what I went to school for, and my other job besides crafting is teaching music lessons and performing as a freelancer. I fell absolutely head over heels for this gorgeous image as soon as it arrived, and I decided to color the harp to resemble my personal instrument. Sometimes you'll see fancy harps with gilded gold columns, but I love the dark walnut feel of my instrument and tried to recreate that with Copic markers. Harps come in a variety of colors, in fact there's a quite famous electric blue harp, but I decided to be a little more traditional in my coloring. Also, just for fun, the background music in today's video is a recording of one of my favorite pieces, Impromptu Caprice by Gabriel Piernay from my junior harp recital in college, way back in 2005. I hope you enjoy it. Once I was finished coloring, I die cut the image with a coordinating die. As you can see, the tops and bottoms of the strings are visible with the die. You could just stamp the image on your card panel and then adhere the die cut harp on top and align the strings. But I decided to add a little interactive element to my card with some heavy duty thread. First, I added HG adhesive to my second harp image. Then I used that as a guide for aligning thread to the neck and sound board of the harp. I continued this process for all the strings. The image actually has the dog pulling one of the strings, so I added a little adhesive to his paw and ran the string along that as well.
Once I had strung the harp, I cut off the excess thread at the top and bottom. Then I added adhesive to the back of the colored harp and adhered them together, effectively sandwiching the strings between the two images. I wouldn't advise roughly pulling these strings as you could pull them out, but you can definitely give them a light strum with your fingers. Next, I blended a background using picked raspberry, abandoned coral, worn lipstick, and sponge sugar distress oxide inks. I splattered the panel with water and then blotted off the excess. Once it was dry, I trimmed it down to an A2 panel and stamped the sentiment and music notes. I actually ended up cutting the music notes apart so I could vary their placement and stamp them a few times. Then I added my musical dog and his harp with foam mounting tape. To finish the card, I added a liberal coating of Spectrum Nora Clear Sparkle to the music notes and harp, and then added Nouveau Crystal Glaze to the music notes for a little extra sparkle. And that's it! You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. Make sure to check out the full December release from Waffle Flower over on my blog. And if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a fabulous day, and happy crafting! Bye!